Hello, my YouTube friend. Wow, we have a lot of work to do today in the shop. It's gonna be a lot of fun because I have a lot of packages to open up and my friend Brian's visiting. All right, so let's go in the shop and I'll give you an update of what's going on. All right, I have a whole bunch of boxes I'm gonna open here. These are all, actually I have a package from my patron Al. I have a bunch of Funko orders, some Funko shop, a pop culture box. So that's gonna be a lot of fun to go through. My neighbor John dropped off a whole bunch of bins I have to go through. Uh, I think we have over here some stuff that people traded in, in a few boxes I got finished processing from last week. Uh, it was a crazy weekend. We sold a whole ton of pops, but it's kind of a chaos right now. We have two boxes here that I have to kind of organize. I got to try to get more onto the shelf. All weekend long, I was trying to fill up the shelves as things sold. I have uh, a whole mess right there. <laughs> That's an overwhelming amount of junk I got to do. Uh, okay, and then this cabinet, ton sold out of there. I've been trying to fill it in there, but still a bit of a mess. Uh, this whole wall is chaotic. Uh, my friend Brian over there is bagging up toys for me. He came in from California and he's volunteering, which is awesome. Thank you, Brian. And uh, just more pops. So I'm going to be organizing and opening stuff all day. All right, this pile is going to be a ton of fun. So let's start opening up these boxes. All right, this is a little batch of stuff that was traded in at the end of Sunday. So I have five pops here from Geo, the Berserker Squanchy. All right, I think these two on top I'm going to sell. So we have Maleficent and then the bottom three I'm keeping. We have Clifford. We have Rick with Funnel Hat, and then we have Toby. I have this one, but this is the newer print with the much more orange face, so that one's cool. And then I have a batch of stuff that's traded in from my patrons, Gloria and Steve. So we have uh, Dwight as the Scranton Strangler. We have Rick Savage from Def Leppard. We have Appa from Avatar, that one's cool. We have Hopper. We have Michael Scott from The Office. McGinney from Fantastic Beasts. Uh, Luke Skywalker. Vivian Campbell from Def Leppard and the Bloody Baron. I think a few of those I need to keep. So cool stuff. Thought you guys would enjoy that. This has been one from my neighbor, John. I don't know what's in here. He told me there's a few grails. Oh, I see some fun stuff. And maybe some other cool stuff. And then just a lot of just older stuff, I think. So these I actually really want to. I don't have the set yet. So we have the Bob's Burgers Dorbs. It's uh, Jean. That one is neat. It looks like the whole set was in the box. Okay, we have the New York Comic Con Supergirl. This one I know has some value. This one's actually kind of rare. You don't see that one too often. That is very cool. Do have that one already though. Uh, we have Gorg with Meek, love this one. Very cool pop, do have that one as well. Okay, we have the Queen of Hearts, a Hot Topic exclusive. This one's really cool, I love the little guy right there. That one I do have already. We have the I guess Hot Topic is a Wonder Woman. I don't remember if I have this one or not. That one I have to double check. Okay, I have a Legions of Collectors Bane. That one is super cool. The bottom fell off of this. <laughs> These hard stacks are not my favorite. Okay. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Hold on a second here. Wow, I gotta look this one up. So we have the Chase Metallic Joker. Wow, that's an expensive pop. Scan it on Hobby DB. Let's see what we got. Uh, 360 bucks. Wow. All right, that's a cool one. I don't have that one. That one's going into my collection. Definitely got a grail there. Uh, oh, okay. So we have the rest of the Bob's Burgers Dorb set. I love these. So we have Linda. That one is very cool. And we have Bob. Love that one. That one's cool. That's going in my collection. And we have um, Louise. She is cool. Love that one. Okay, this box is a lot of fun. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. We have uh, Tina. That one's really cool. I think that's the full set of five. So I'm really happy to get all those. Uh, we have a larger six inch Thanos. I love this Thanos because this is his comic book version or his first appearance version. I think they call, no, it's not the first appearance version, but it's the original comic suit and he's on the skulls. Love all the little skulls. So that one's super awesome. Someone's gonna want that. Okay, we have Bogart as Snape. Cool Harry Potter pop. I need a lot more Harry Potter for the shop, so that's really good. And I do have that one already. 
And again, the bottom fell off. Okay, we have uh, Hermani with the sorting hat. Love that one. That one's really cool. Again, it's good to get some Harry Potter stuff for the shop. I could use a big collection full. We had the Black Panther Chase. Very cool pop. Love that one. We have the Hellboy Chase. That one's neat. I'm pretty sure I have that one already. The bottom of the case fell off. These hard stacks, I'm just not a fan of them. Okay, we have Smee from the Disney Treasures box. He is really cool. That's good for any Disney fans. We have uh, Professor Quirrell from the Harry Potter. That one's really cool. Love that one. I think that's one where the hat comes off. I would like to see more pops like that. And then we have the collector. Love that one. I think this one has a bit of value now. So someone will be happy to get that. Uh, oh, and then we have Okoye, which is also from the same year. Oh, and the case is falling apart. So I'm just gonna pull her out without the case. But this is the same 2018 convention and her hair comes off. So they did two pops with removable hats. I like to see that more often. I think that's a cool little thing they did. All right, very cool. Love that bin. Lots of really awesome stuff, especially the Joker chase. This thing's amazing. That's going into the collection. All right, on to the next bin. Right, bin number two from John. Let's see what's in here. Uh, my wife said she thinks she saw a nice one, so we'll find out in a second. All right. Uh, ooh, okay. We have V for Vendetta. That one is awesome. I actually think I need the common sweet okay that one's going to my collection happy get that and i have the fake we can compare that one actually uh okay we have the hulk from thor ragnarok this one's a little dented we have groot from toys r us love that one we have the 8-bit michelangelo i think i actually need the full 8-bit set so i think that's going into my collection we have the 8-bit Donatello. Love that one. That one also going to my collection. We have... Let's see. We have the regular group from Avengers Infinity War. That one's neat. You have that one. I think I had the full set of those. Uh, Captain America from Avengers Infinity War. Very neat. We have the Bearded Lady from The Greatest Showman. This one is crushed a bit. I think I do need it though, so I'll probably just keep that until I can get a nicer one. We have the Hot Top exclusive Metallic Vision. This one's cool, and this one definitely shot up after WandaVision. I think it's come down a little bit, but still a valuable one. A uh, bigger set here. Oh, this one is neat. So we have the Gold Dragon Zord. Toy Tokyo exclusive. That one I do have. But I'm sure someone will be thrilled to pick that one up. Because he is really neat. Okay. We have the Raphael 8-bit. Again, I think I need all of those. So that's going into the collection. And it looks like the full set's here. So we have the Leonardo 8-bit. All right, very neat on those. Okay, we have the Flock Dabu Hot Topic exclusive. Uh, this one's a bit damaged, so I'll have to sell them a bit cheaper. But some people actually kind of enjoy just, you know, they get a pop they want cheaper just to have it out of the box. Uh, Ginny Weasley Harry Potter. Another Harry Potter pop. I'm actually really happy. I was so low on Harry Potter and people keep asking. So I'm actually happy that I got a bunch. Uh, we have Philip Carlisle from The Greatest Showman. I need that one as well, but it also looks kind of crushed. So I might keep it or I might just decide to try to get it later. We have the Ron Weasley from Harry Potter. That one is cool. Very happy to see all this Harry Potter stuff. Okay, we have... Uh, Dr. Eggman from Sonic. He is very neat. We have the Maximus from Gladiator. This one's a bit crushed, but that's okay. I have that one already, so I don't worry so much if I have it already. And then we have the Ann Wheeler from The Greatest Showman. So I don't know if I have any of this set, but they all seem to have I don't know if he got them crushed or he just accidentally smushed them in the box or something. That, uh, maybe I'll just sell them and try to get more later. 
Uh, okay, we have Dr. Neo Cortex from Crash Bandicoot. That one is really neat. That one, I might need that one. Not 100% sure on that. And finally, we have Thanos from Avengers Infinity War. So he's cool. This box is also a little bit crushed. So some of these I'm just going to have to sell at like, you know, $6.99, $7.99. A little bit of discounted price. All right, very cool. Actually, there's a mystery mini in here. So we have the Ben Riley Spider-Man mystery mini. He's really cute. I don't know if I have that one or not. All right, on to the next bin. All right, bin number three. Let's see what's in here. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, this is cool. We have some Big Bang Theory pops. These are always popular. Lots of people are looking for those, so I always need a lot of those for the shop. We have Howard. Okay, that's neat. I do have that full set, so those will all go into the shop. Possibly to my patrons. We have Bernadette. Uh, okay, we have a uh, blank in a box. Super funny. That one I do have already. We have Raj from the Big Bang Theory. Okay, very cool. We have, okay. Looks like the full set's in here. So we also have Amy Farrow Fowler. The one where she has the tiara. That's a funny episode. Uh, looks like some bigger stuff is in here. If I can squeeze this out. Okay. We have the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Very cool pop. Love that one. We have Bugs Bunny. I actually, I'm not sure if I have the regular Bugs Bunny. That's pretty cool, actually. I have to double check that. Okay, and then a couple smaller ones and then a bigger one. Okay, we have Basil from The Great Mouse Detective. That is cool. I don't have that one yet. That one is a keeper. Okay, and then we have... Oh, the Jim Halpert Chase. This one I don't have. The last one I got, I sold because he's kind of expensive. But I think I actually might keep this one to fill in the collection now. All right, very cool. Sort of a mini grail. All right, we have Gollum. Love that one. Do have that one already. Okay, we have a larger one. I'm going to push these back just a little bit. Okay, so we have the Ant-Man and Anthony. Love that one. That one is amazing. All right, so that one I do have. Okay, next we have Aladdin. I might need the regular Aladdin. That one I'm going to have to double check. we have Superman. Okay, that one's cool. We have Bob Ross with paintbrush. Love that one. That one's wonderful. Okay, and then uh, one more. Okay, we have Daffy Duck. This one I think actually has some value now. These all kind of jump because of Space Jam too. Very neat pop. Okay, on to the next bin. Bin number four, let's see what's inside. Uh, oh, okay, looks like some fun stuff in here. Looks like a bunch of the Lost Pops, which I think I need most of them, although this one is damaged. We have Jack Shepard, very neat, but it's got a big ding right there. So I'll probably just sell them. We have Thor from Thor Ragnarok, very cool. Love that one. Actually, I think one of my customers was looking for that one. Ooh, we had the original Yondu. I love this one. This one has some value. Very cool pop. That one will sell very easily. We have Valkyrie. Love that one. I think one of my patrons will want that. We have... Uh, okay, New York Comic Con Zack Ryder. Not sure if that one has value, but I guess it does. I might keep that one i might sell it i'm not 100 percent sure i don't really collect the wrestling but i'm starting to try to collect a little bit here and there uh okay we have Ginny weasley the barnes and noble exclusive love that one 
That one I actually might need. That's one I'm gonna have to double check. larger one we have a hulk buster from infinity war all right so the hulk buster is really cool I, I think this is the one with bruce banner inside okay then we have the man in black from lost okay very neat i think i need that one we have the snuggle tooth that one I'm pretty sure I have. That's the with the Wetmore Forest. Yeah, that one is cool. Okay, next we have the Remus Lupin from Harry Potter. Love that one. Okay, he is neat. That one I actually might need. I feel like I need that one. We have Thor from Avengers Infinity War. That one I'm pretty sure I have. We have, oh, I love this one. We have the Luna Lovegood, the one where she has the lion's mane. That one is an awesome pop. That one I'm pretty sure I have already. Okay. Okay, we have the Hermione Granger. Uh, just in a casual look. That one I might need. I'm going to double check that. I don't remember. It's been a while if I did get it. Uh, we have Harry Potter with the map. That one is super cool. Pretty sure I have that one. Okay, I'm happy to get all these Harry Potter ones. We have the Sawyer from Lost. That one's cool. That one I definitely need. Really happy to get that. Lost is one of my favorite shows when it was on TV. Absolutely love that series. So it's kind of fun to get the pops. Uh, okay, we have the Remus Lupin as Werewolf Hot Topic exclusive. This one I think has a bit of value. This is one of the more expensive Harry Potter ones. So that's cool. I'm sure someone will want that. We have uh, Jenny Weasley. That one I'm pretty sure I have because that's the original one. And just a couple more. We have oh we have Loki. Uh, one of my regulars was looking for this, but I think he just got it yesterday. <laughs> he would have been happy to trade with it, I'm sure. But very cool pop. That one definitely has some value. Over 100, I think. Uh, we have Ron Weasley. Love that one. I don't remember if I have that one. I actually have to double check that. I feel like that's one I haven't seen before. And Peter Pettigrew from Harry Potter. That one I do have. All right, that box is really fun. Okay, on to the next bin. Final bin, bin number five. He wrote hard cases, so this one might be the better stuff. Not sure. I mean, there's been good stuff in the other bins, but I'm assuming this one has something good in it. Uh, well, they're all in hard stack. Yeah, I see some good stuff in here. Okay, this is awesome. Okay, this one I just got. I was actually looking for this for years. So it's the second one in a couple weeks. <laughs> so the Zeron Ur Batman. That one's going to go really quick. The Batman stuff in the shop right now, I just can't keep it in stock. Uh, 11 with electrodes. That one is super cool. Love that one. The Geller Grindelwald. That one I'm sure I have already. He is super cool though. Uh, oh, this one I love. Figment. It's from the Disney World. Or it's a Disney World exclusive. That one's super cool. That one I think I have, but I'm gonna have to double check that. I kind of collect anything figment that I find. Uh, oh, the 8-bit Batman. Pretty sure I have that one. But I have a feeling someone will want that. Again, Batman does really well for me. Again, Batman does really well for me. Uh, okay, we have some rare dorbs. So we have Yankees dorbs. Limited 750 pieces. That's actually really cool. I might have that one, but I'm gonna have to double check. Uh, Disney Treasures Cruella DeVille. She is very cool. A Lucky Charms, limited to 3,500 pieces. He is cool too. Uh, oh, there's some more nice kind of rare ones on the bottom. So we have uh, Jack Torrance from The Shining. That one is awesome. We have the New York Comic Con Dwight. That one I think one of my patrons actually wants. So that will go instantly. Uh, Bam exclusive Grumpy. I don't think I have that one. That is very cool. Uh, we got Bugsy Wingnut. Another one of those wet, more forest ones. That one I think I have. I think the only ones I'm missing are the spring versions. Uh, okay, a couple more. We have Old Man Logan. 
New York Comic Con exclusive. That one I just sold over the weekend, so I don't have one in the shop, so now I do. And, uh, oh, First Doctor. I don't think I have that one. That one I think has a little bit of value. Okay, very cool pop. Uh, okay, and what's left looks like some Dorb's rides. Let's see what we got. Uh, oh, the big gruesome with creepy coop. That one is cool. I don't know if I have that one. Limited 2,000 pieces. Okay, that's very neat. And then is the other one a rare one? Yeah, I think this one I might be missing as well. So we have the gravel slog with boulder mobile. That is neat. Limited 2,000 pieces. Okay, very cool. All right, that box was a ton of fun. All right, let's open up some other stuff. This is a mystery package that comes from my patron, Al. Uh, it might be a trade, it might be a gift. I'm actually not sure. I'm gonna ask him after I film this, but it's a complete mystery. So let's dig in and see what's inside. I don't think it's pops. It's kind of rattling around. So I'm actually not sure what's in here. Okay, got a note. Let's see what it says. Oh, okay. Sean, happy belated birthday. I wanted to send you these as both a birthday gift and a token of my gratitude for your uplifting content, attitude, and general care of your show to your supporters. I hope to get to NYC now that normal is coming back. Knock on wood. Best Al. Oh, all right. Thank you. I wasn't really expecting this. Thank you, Al. This is awesome. Oh, wow. All right. Let's dig in here. Let's see what's in here. Uh, ooh, okay. We have some Seinfeld pops. So we have Jerry in the baseball jersey. I do not have that one yet. Awesome. Very happy to get that. I want this full set. So that's amazing. And we have Jerry with Pez. It's a Walmart exclusive. Again, another one I don't have. Really wanted that. Awesome. Thank you, Al. We have some fun, uh, what is it? Oh, Looney Tunes. We have a little Looney Tunes, LeBron James, and a King Kong. Those are super cool. And, uh, oh, we have the Kramer. This one I did get. So this one I might end up just giving away to someone. Not sure yet. Still waiting for the last giveaway to trigger. I might just have to make a whole pile of stuff to give away. This is super cool, though. I love this one. Amazing. All right, Al, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Okay, so I have two mystery boxes from Cop Culture. I basically what they do sometimes is they'll take one kind of rare pop that's uh maybe it's like a funko shop exclusive that goes up in value in the u.s but they'll put it in a mystery box where you buy that and five other pops for like 60 dollars. i think i ended up paying 15 dollars a pop ship so it might have been a little bit high on these depending on how good the mystery pops are but they had two pops i really wanted so that was kind of the thing i decided i'm gonna buy the mystery box have a little fun hopefully i you know i'm hoping for some pop culture stickers because that's kind of what i want but let's see what's inside. I already opened this. I didn't really look what was inside. I was just showing one of my regulars the pop I bought just because I really want that. I was excited to get it, but I didn't see what was in the, the mystery. So, uh, okay, so it looks like stuff that's not too exciting, but if they have pop culture stickers, I will be happy. Okay, so we have the Black Canary 2019 Spring Convention exclusive. So that one's probably worth the $15 I paid. So that's cool. I do have that one already. Kind of wish I had a pop culture sticker, but that's okay. We have a uh, 25th anniversary Conan O'Brien. That one's probably like $10, so overpaid on that one. And then we have a Nick Fury 2019 New York Comic Con exclusive, so I could probably get 15 out of that one. So, so far, they're all exclusive, so that's very cool. We have, oh, a Kramer with a pop culture sticker. So I do want a full Seinfeld set, even all the sticker variants. So that's really cool. That's exactly what I was looking for. So $15 for me was really good on that. And then we have a Chewbacca 2019 Galactic Convention exclusive. This one, I think I can get at least 15. It might be more. So that's actually a really good selection. And then the last pop here is the one I bought this for, which was the Mothman. Absolutely love this one. That one's cool. And it's got the pop culture sticker with the Sasquatch. So that's really what I wanted. Okay, that box is amazing. I think $15 each was actually a really good deal because this one alone is probably like 50 bucks. Okay, so, and then the other one I haven't opened yet, which I got to flip this over because they taped the two mystery boxes together. Okay, we got a box inside. I do like that they double box them. And honestly, considering these came all the way from Australia, $15 each with shipping included, not a bad value. And this one, they had it for $100 Australian. So it translates to $60 shipped. US is not bad. No, $60, $90 shipped. 
Right, so people always say I should use a knife. Someone else previously used a knife on this. They might sliced right through a pop. That's why I use a dull scissor because I know I'm not going to cut anything in the box. Okay, let's see what we've got in here. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. These all look like Funko Shop uh fantastic plastic but if they have the pop culture sticker i am going to be thrilled i'm gonna pull out the one i bought for or made this purchase for so this really awesome candy corn i love this one this is the one i really 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 wanted and it's it went up to 60 75 dollars so i didn't want to pay that but i paid 90 for everything okay that's going to the collection i love that but now i see all these none of these have super value but if they have the pop culture stickers, then I'm super thrilled because I'd want all these with the pop culture stickers. Yeah, so we have the monkey assassin. That one's amazing. Okay, very cool. So this is exactly what I wanted to happen. We have Chet with the pop culture sticker. Okay, that one's also amazing. And then we have Big Al. Yeah. Big Al with the pop culture sticker. Love that. Again, with the Funko Shop sticker, it's like a $7 pop. Original retail was $15, though, so getting an international sticker for $15, I'm happy with that. Especially because the candy corn is still like $60. Okay, we have Rocco Billy. Absolutely love this one. So with the pop culture sticker, that one's absolutely awesome. Okay, very cool. And then finally, we have Wolfgang. So this is amazing. If you want these fantastic plastic pops, if you want with the cool little Sasquatch metallic sticker right there, that's really cool. And $15 each for the whole collection. Okay, thrilled with that. I think that was a great deal. Okay, we have a big Target box here. This I bought around uh, when ECC came out. So I think these are some ECC Comic-Con pops. Uh, I don't know if there's a lot in this box. There's a giant box with a bunch of small boxes inside. So it looks like five pops, unless they did two a box, I forget. And there might have been some extra stuff I bought just to get free shipping. Okay, put that up. Oh no, these are some Target kind of ones. So they must have came back in stock and I grabbed a few. Or I might have grabbed a few while getting the ECC Comic Con stuff. So we have the Lord Licorice. Yeah, that one's really neat. I love that one. Okay, so yeah, it looks like it's one pop per box. Yeah, I've been meaning to film these things for months, but I just get so busy. That I'm just trying to get these out of the way, get them filmed, have fun with them, figure out what I have and what I need. Okay. This is, yeah, this is another Target Con. So I don't know if this was an actual Target Con order because I know I didn't get any from the actual con because they sold out, but I think I hit the restock. So we have the Colonel Mustard. That's cool. I kind of like when they do pops of weird things like old board games. Okay. Got another box to open. Uh, oh, okay. This is super cool. Yeah, this is neat. So we have the Terror Claw Skeletor. He's metallic. Happy to get that one. That one's fantastic. So that was just a regular. That wasn't the Target Con. That was just a regular exclusive of theirs. Okay. Uh, okay, this looks like a Target Con one, I believe. No, this is one of the ECC Comic Con ones. Okay, that's neat. So we have the... Not the Flocked. We have the Diamond Collection Charmander. Where he's covered in glitter. Feels like the box got a little bit dented, which is a shame, but he's still really neat looking. That is cool. Okay, so I probably did order for this and then I added the other stuff for free shipping. Okay, let's open this box. Okay, we got that, we got that. Uh, oh, this one's neat. So we have the Chamberlain from the Dark Crystal. That one is super cool. I need to finish the Dark Crystal set, so I'm actually really happy to get that. Okay, very neat. Okay, one more box. 
Okay. Let's see, oh yeah, this one's another set I want to complete. I don't think it has much value, but I think it's super awesome. So we have the Hello Kitty giant robot kaiju set. So it's the Hello Kitty in space, glows in the dark. That one is super awesome. Okay, sweet. Happy with those. Let's go on to the next box. Okay, it's day two. I uh, just couldn't get through everything yesterday, so we're gonna have to do it on day two. Yesterday, after we opened, I went with my friend Brian to my friend James' house. We had a fun time just checking out his artwork. James gave me this t-shirt. He wanted to give me one for a while now, so I was happy to really get it. It's super cool. I'm actually gonna to link to his Instagram in the description below. You should check it out if you like like monsters or pop culture villains. You should check out his artwork because it's really cool. Okay, let me show you what else we have to get done today. Okay, so we have this stack of packages I gotta open. There's some Funko Shop orders, Walmart, Target, uh, a really cool piece of artwork that was sent to me. I don't know what it looks like, but I know I'm going to love it. And just a bunch of stuff to open. All right, let's start digging into some of these packages. Let's start with this Walmart package. Ah, uh, I'm guessing this is, this might be uh, ECC Comic Con stuff. Right. Let's see what we got here. Uh, I have Adam Thylen, which I did not order. Okay, that is weird. Okay, <laughs> he'll be for sale because I didn't order him. That is weird. I gotta figure out what happened. All right, that first box is weird because I didn't order that. I'll have to figure out what I did order, and I mean that was from months ago, so I doubt they'll be able to fix that. <laughs> okay, opening up box number two. Hopefully it's not as weird. Okay. Oh, that's neat. So we have the dino pool. I probably grabbed that just to round out free shipping. Sort of a weird bobblehead, but it's very cool looking pop. I love that. All right, going into the collection. Okay, we have another Walmart box. It looks like they ended up sending a lot of this order in multiple boxes. <laughs> very efficient shipping, right? When you spend more to ship than I actually paid for the pops. Uh, okay. I think this opens here somehow. It's like a weird box of some sort. All right, uh, okay. I think I actually have this one already. So I must have got it after I ordered it. So we have Dwight Schreit as Kerrigan. That's very cool. So that one will be for sale. All right, on to the next box. We have a Books A Million box. Okay, all right, that's cool. They double boxes, so that's good packaging. Appreciate that. So I'm not sure what, what I'm again. This is ECC Comic Con stuff, I think. Because I ordered everything that I couldn't get from Funko directly. I just ordered the shared stuff just to get the set. Oh, upside down. All right. Everything looks like it was in good shape. Okay, let's see what we got here. We got, uh, oh, Jane Austen, that one's cool. I must have grabbed a few extra ones to get the free shipping. I haven't seen that one in person yet. Very cool, going into the collection. I like when they do authors as pops. Oh, okay, cool, we have the Metallic Holly Short from Artemis Fowl, I was just thinking I want that one. So I ordered it, awesome, into the collection. And this one, it has a sale sticker. I think she was on sale for like $7, so that was good. Uh, okay, there we go. We have Wonder Woman from the ECC Comic Con. She's really cool. I like the dynamic pose. Her stand's a little loose. Uh, that's cool. Happy to add that to the collection. Uh, oh, this is cool. I actually wanted this one as well. We have Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Very awesome historical figure. Love that. And, uh, oh, <laughs> the Miami Vice double pack. Books, or uh, Book a Million exclusive. Okay. That was super cool. So basically I ordered it for one pop and then I added a bunch of other stuff to get the free shipping. <laughs> That's the way you gotta do it, right? Okay, we have a Hot Topic box. Again, this is gonna be probably 
2021 ECC Comic Con stuff with maybe some extra stuff added for free shipping, basically. Because that seems to be what's happening with all these boxes. I ordered all these in March, I think. So I kind of forgot what everything is or what I ordered. But so far it's been fun, except for one random football player that I have no idea what happened to that order. So I'm gonna have to figure out what I did order and what's missing. Hopefully something I just got in a collection or something. Okay. We got a uh, paper on a box. So it's a box in a box. Uh, looks like I must've got some sodas. Not 100% sure. Uh, oh, this is cool. Okay, so we have the Caterpillar from Alice in Wonderland. Very awesome. I did just get this one in a collection though. So this will be a duplicate. So I will be selling that one. Love that pop though. Very cool. Okay, and then we have two sodas, I think. What sodas are these? Oh, sweet. Okay, so we have the Todd Ingram soda, which, uh, oh, do I open it? Chase the Chase, did I get more than one? Let's see if I got two of them. Let's see, let's see. Uh, yep. All right, I guess I'm opening them. Is the sticker outside? Yeah, all right, we're gonna open these. See if I got the Chase or not. If they're just commons, that's cool. I'll sell the second common. If it's a common and a Chase, I am thrilled. Because then I have both of them. All right, so we just have the common and the first one, which I'll open up so we can see what he looks like. All right, very, very nice figure. I'm really enjoying sodas lately. I probably need to buy more of them. Gamble a little bit and try to get some chases, win them. Because the commons have been selling pretty well for me, so I have a feeling if I buy sodas, I can sell off the commons pretty easily and get my money back. Okay, so that was cool. All right, opening number two. Kind of hope it's a chase. Uh, I think the chase is the same figure, just a different color maybe. Not 100% sure. The cans feel like the same weight, so you can't tell that way. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, the common as well. That's all right. So I'll have one common to sell and one for my collection. All right, very cool. All right, on to the next box. Okay, we have a Barnes & Noble box. This one, uh, again, is probably ECC Comic Con because I kind of ordered everything that I didn't get at Funko itself, which I'll open up in a minute. So it might be, again, extra stuff on top of the ECC stuff to get free shipping, or it might just be ECC stuff. Not 100% sure. Okay, this one, not double box, but they did bubble wrap both ones. Uh, oh, okay. They pour oh, is this the one that people, like, cheated the price really high? Oh, wait, that's crazy. How high is this one now? The box does look like it got sort of smush, but I don't see any creasing. So that's something I think if I put in a protector over time, it'll kind of just back to its original shape. All right, happy to have that one. That one is expensive. All right, at least I think it is. All right, let's check out. And then I ordered an extra one. I think I extra ordered an extra one. I was trying to get it for someone. I kind of forget what happened. Okay, but that's sweet. I got two of those. All right, awesome. Okay, this is my Funko Shop order from the 2021 ECC Comic Con. I actually won the lottery spot, so I was excited. Right, let me move that. I actually won the lottery spot, so I was happy about that. But the experience was terrible. You would add stuff to the cart, check out. They would say something sold out. They would send you back. You'd have to check out again. Something else sold. They need to fix that system. It was one of the worst experiences of my life. That's probably why I didn't open these right away, because I'm just so frustrated with it. Even though it's like I won and I got some good stuff. It just... I don't know. I didn't need to fix the system where if you put something in the cart, you have a chance to check out. And it's not about who checks out the fastest, but just by, if you get in your cart, you have a chance. Okay, so we got three boxes here, paper and stuff on the side here. All right, so there's going to be some pretty awesome stuff. I didn't get the rarest items, but I got some of the in-demand items. So we have the Kobocon Spike or Pez set. That's amazing. That's uh, limited a thousand pieces, so that's really limited. I think I got the shared sticker on this from someone, so I might need that version. Uh, okay, this one is cool. We have the Funkoverse Darkwing Duck. I actually like these games because I kind of like the smaller pop figures in them. So that's super cool. Happy to get that. And we have some of the sodas here. Okay, we got Cobra Con. The sticker is... Is it on? You no, know, it's under the can. I like if the stick. Oh, yeah, it's on the plastic. When it's on the plastic, I like to try to save that and put it on the can itself. 
because I kind of like the cans. I want to keep everything. I'm probably just going to put the sticker in the can for now, but let's see if we got the chase. That would be cool if I did. And it's, oh, it's the chase. Oh, there's double tokens in there. You found the chase. All right, sweet. Let's open that up and check it out. Okay, he's amazing. Check that out. That is so cool. All right. I I forget if I got this one from Aaron or not. I'm going to have to double check. So he might be an extra now for me. Either way, I'm thrilled to get the chase. Because if I don't have them, then I'm getting a cool piece for a good price. And if I do have them, I can sell them for a good price and get some of my money back. I right, see. I'm going to put the sticker right in the can for now and try to later on peel it off and put it onto the can itself. Okay. Super awesome. Okay, and then one more soda. We have the Man at Arms. Love Man at Arms. This is a toy I absolutely loved when I was a kid. Okay, again, gotta save that sticker. This is, uh, this looks like a shared sticker. Okay, so that's weird. They had shared stickers for the con win. Which is fine. It's all about the figure anyway. Okay, let's see what we got. Do we get, we got the common, which is okay. I'm happy to have it. I still got for retail, so that's good. And I think even the common is semi-limited. Yes, 6,200 pieces. If that was a pop, it would still be in demand. It still have some value. And this one I might have got already as well. I'm going to have to double check that. But he is cool. Check out the man at arms. Okay, love that. Sweet. I'm gonna put the sticker in the can as well and try to transfer that later. Okay, sweet. Okay, I'm gonna move these out so I can get into the box now. All right, uh, we'll do a single item down here. Okay, let's see what we got. We have, oh, he popped out. <laughs> so Weedle on the Needle. I have no idea what this is, but it's adorable. Looks like an old school, like 1970s cartoon or comic or kids book, I guess. It's a kids book. That is really neat. I really like it. Even though I don't know who it is, I like that they're doing these weird 1970s books as pop figures. That's amazing to me. Since the figure's out, we can look at it. Very cute figure. I love that. All right, awesome. Gonna put that in the tray. I didn't even remember this one at all from the con. So this one had the spring sticker. I don't know if this one was shared though. Okay, sweet. Okay, I've got this box. This looks like a three pack, maybe. I forget what was in a three pack. Something cool, I'm assuming. Or, I don't know. <laughs> I bought everything, so whether I loved it or not. Oh yeah, this is um, Thundar the Barbarian. This set is kind of cool, actually. Let me see if I can get them out carefully. Shake them out slowly. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we have Ookla the Mook. That one looks really cool. It's got the con sticker, love that one. We have Princess Ariel. She is amazing looking. I love how she's got like the energy coming out of her hands. That one is sweet. Okay, and then we have Thundar. He's really sweet too. And these all have the con sticker. So really happy with that. Those are cool. All right, I'm gonna put them back in this box. Okay, we have three of the six count boxes. So maybe 18 total left. Not 100% sure. Okay. All right, let's see. Oh yeah. <laughs> Some of these I have and some of these I don't. And the ones I don't are really awesome. So this one I know I have, but I might just have the shared sticker. So we have Kenny Powers. That one is fun. Okay, we have Yoda in a really cool box. I love that the box is green. I like when they do different boxes for Pops. Okay, that one is really cool. Uh, I love this one from the Sonics. We have the Squatch mascot. 
any kind of Yeti, yeah, I'm a fan of. So that's a really cool figure. Uh, this one I really like. So we have the vampire or the zombie Morbius. He is a vampire, but it's the zombie version. This sticker looks slightly off center. Is it? Yeah, so it might be a slight sticker error. That's cool. Really love that one. Okay, this is one I really wanted. So we have the Bony Tony. I grew up loving Garbage Pail Kids. They came out when I was nine years old. So I was the perfect age for these. Awesome. Love that one. Okay, and then this is the one that sometimes arrives broken, but I'm super thrilled to get. Yeah, I think we're good. So we have the Najiri from My Hero Academia. Love that one. That's the one I wanted the most. And this is one that has some value to it. All right, that's amazing. Super happy. All right. Okay, box number two in here. Let's open it up. Oh yeah, more fun in here. Okay. We have Dead Man. That one's a shared sticker though. So I guess you could get some shared stickers in the actual lottery win purchase. We have the twins from WandaVision. Awesome, really happy with that. Absolutely loved WandaVision. Uh, from Candyland, we have the Plumpy. That one's cool. I kind of like the furry green monsters and well, any color. And I kind of like just monsters in general, just like when they're cute, but monsters, awesome. And then we have uh, Deadpool with the rabbit plushy pants. That one's awesome. And then do we have another soda? Uh, okay, we have the HR Puff and Stuff. This is limited to 2,000 pieces. So this, even if it doesn't have a chase, I don't... Yeah, it does have a chase. If the chase is in here, the chase has got to be super rare. But even the common one, if it's only 2,000 pieces, that's pretty rare as well. All right, kind of hope the chase is in here. Oh, and the sticker's on the can. That's good. Okay, let's open it up. Moment of truth. Okay, the chase is in here. It would be thrilling. All right, I'm gonna do this slow. Kind of nervous. Uh, no, just the common. But, common's only 1,700 pieces. That is pretty rare by itself. All right, let's open it up and check it out. You know, if that was, that's like a normal chase. Or if that was a pop, People probably pay $100 for that because 1700 is not that much. Okay, very cool figure. All right, love that, adding it to the soda collection. Okay, so box number two is done. Let's go on to box number three. Okay. Right. This has been an awesome box. Honestly, I ended up getting a lot of the really cool ones. I just missed out on the top two or three rare ones, I think. And overall, I think I missed out on like 12 pops because I, I went back six times. They would say sold out, they would kick me back, I'd have to sign out again. Another sold out and it kept going until I missed out on, I think, 12 items. But I did end up, here's one rare one I got. I just don't think this one was that popular. But from Gummy Bears, we have the Ogre, limited 3,000 pieces. He's really neat looking. Super happy to get that. Uh, this one, I think, will be kind of hard to get in the long run. We have Kim Pine from Scott Pilgrim. Scott Pilgrim pops are always hard to get because they made so many con ones and not as many just regular ones. Uh, we have Belle from Beauty and the Beast. She's really cool looking. Love that one. We have Underdog. I haven't seen this one in person yet, so he's really cool. Okay, we have the Grimlock. I just got the shared version of this one. So this one's going to go in my collection as the Consticker. This is one of my all-time favorite Transformers. So that one's amazing. Love that one. Okay, and then we have the Diana Revealed. I just got the shared sticker on her as well. So that's super cool. Uh, I kind of wish her color was better though. The color is off on that. Super cool pop though. Okay, so that box is awesome. On to the next. All right, I have... Uh, this box is all the way back from last Black Friday, I believe. So it's the... Fantastic Four boxes. I think it's the full set I got. So uh, I've been waiting to open these forever. What is that? Uh, eight months, nine months? Okay, let's 
see what's in here. Hopefully it's the complete set. Okay. So it's eight boxes? I forget how much they had in the set. Or is it four boxes? No, it might be eight boxes. Yeah, I think there's two stacks of them. Okay, that's very cool, actually. So I think these were $20. I don't know if there's a discount if you bought them all, but it should be one of each one. The Chase, the Common, the Chase, the Common of each figure. So it should be eight different Venomized Fantastic Four figures, which are cool. I think a lot of these have gone up in value since these came out. Usually the Black Friday boxes don't go up in value unless it's something really awesome. Okay, box one. Uh, we have the regular Venomized thing. He is pretty sweet. Yeah, I like that one a lot. I haven't seen that one in person yet. So that one is cool. And then we just have, this stuff is gonna be a lot of repeats, I think. So I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna show you guys every single Pez. I'm just gonna show you the pops. Okay. Box number two. Uh, okay, now we have the metallic thing. Oh wow, that one is cool. Yeah, I love that. Wow, that is cool. Thing is one of my all time favorite characters. So having a cool venomized version of them is awesome. Okay, box number three. I guess that's why I haven't filmed these yet because it's gonna take forever to get through them. <laughs> Uh, Venomized Human Torch. I don't know which one was the rare one. But he's the glow-in-the-dark version. He looks really cool. That one I think looks like it would glow well. Because I think the glow is in the actual vinyl and not just the paint. But that I might have to play with and double check that out. Okay. Next box. Okay. This is Venomized Human Torch. Uh, I can't tell the... Oh, this one's translucent. Okay, so one is kind of more opaque and one's translucent. Both look really cool. I'm not sure which one's considered the chase. Or I don't even know if these were just a 50-50 chance. That I do not know. But those are really cool. Okay, layer number two. This is kind of how I would like them to do Black Friday boxes every year. Just where if you can order a set of all of them, that would be awesome. All right. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so we have the Venomized Invisible Girl. That one is really neat. Yeah, this whole set is very cool. Oh, I kind of wish they would do a 10 inch Venomized Galactus. That would be awesome. Okay, a couple more boxes. All right, we got, uh... okay, we got this guy right here. Oh, we have the Metallic Venomized Mr. Fantastic. That is fantastic. Okay, look at him. He is cool. I love Metallic figures, so that one is really neat. 
Let's see, another Venomized Galactus keychain. So there's a lot of repeats of that stuff. Okay, next box. All right, so I think we need the Chase or Metallic version of Invisible Girl, and we need the regular version of Mr. Fantastic. And then that's the full set. These are nice little small boxes, very efficient for the packaging, which I like. Yeah. Okay, so we have the regular Mr. Fantastic. He's still fantastic. Not as cool as the metallic one, but still very cool. Love that one. Okay, and then the last one should be the metallic invisible girl. Oh yeah, she is cool. She's like translucent. So she's not metallic, she's just see-through. Wow, that's a really cool looking figure. That is neat. I haven't seen that one yet, I just saw the regular one. All right, cool, so happy to have this set. Awesome. Okay, so that was that box. Let's get on to the next. Okay, so this is a box lunch box. This one, again, will probably have ECC Comic-Con pops in it and maybe some stuff that I ordered just to fill in for the free shipping. Not 100% sure, but uh, we'll find out in a second. Okay, it looks like it's three pops. Okay, pop number one. Okay, oh, this one is neat. I did not realize I ordered this. So it's the Coca-Cola can, but the Diamond Edition one. Oh, wow. I love that one. All right, sweet. Okay, box number two. This is, oh, the Venomized Doctor Strange. Another box lunch exclusive. Oh, he is really cool too. I love this line. That's a cool line. Okay, one more in this box. So I wonder if I just ordered those because those were amazing or no, yeah, here's our ECC Comic Con one. So we have the Jackie Chun from Dragon Ball. So yeah, I ordered it for that and then I added the other two for free shipping, but the other two were amazing, much better than this one. I mean, this one's cool, but for me, the Venomized Doctor Strange and the Coca-Cola can are where it's at. All right, awesome. On to the next box. So I'm gonna open up this really cool poster art that was sent to me from Brandon for the cool kid and myself. He made a really cool little Pop Fuzz sitting on a bench. And uh, it just says Pop Fuzz to Sean and Cool Kid. He just wrote Fragile a bunch of times. All right, let me get the Cool Kid. We're going to open this up together. All right, I'm here with the Cool Kid. You Hi. Said... All right, let's, uh, I want to open this up very carefully because I don't want to damage what's inside. Do you know what's inside? No. What do you think's inside? Um, something cool. Yeah. Wait, you excited to see what's in there? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Cut off the end. It's a plastic tube. You want, oh, look. Oh, he made a couple things, I think. A couple things? Yeah, do you see? Mm-hmm. Okay, that looks cool. Well, them. So inside, it looks like there's multiple things. Do you see what's in there? Maybe it's just something protecting something. Okay, this is gonna be hard. You wanna try to pull that out? I'm gonna pull. Pull that out. That just, I think that's, oh, he got a plastic tube. Whoa, amazing. <laughs> I think that was just to protect it. Okay. okay. Okay, pull that out. Pull that out. Let me make sure. The thing's taped up a little. Yeah, yeah. Let me just see what all this extra stuff is first. If this is just packaging, I think. Okay, let's see mm -hmm. what this is. You excited? Mm-hmm. I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> Am I doing too slow? Okay. I mean, okay, all right, all right. another tube inside yeah, yeah, a tube. You, you can have that tube. That one's for you. That yeah, one's this... For, this is for you. Okay. Come in the tube. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there you go. <laughs> you have the tube. You sure? Uh, uh, yeah, the you tube, have that. I, I have you the have tube. That. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, okay. 
Oh, it looks, it's colorful. You see it? Wait, let yeah. me just see if they can see. Can you guys see that? It looks like a colorful poster or print. With? Well, drawing, I think. Okay, I'm gonna pull this out. Be careful. I know, I don't want to damage it. It's kind of wedged in there. Let me see if I can get this cardboard unfurled a little bit. Okay, there we go. There's a little bit of a lip on one that was holding. Okay, all right, here you go. You happy with this cardboard? Here you go. That's for you. It's amazing cardboard. <laughs> okay. All right, we're ready. It's yeah. a couple of drawings. Let's here. You grab the first one. Okay, just pull it, pull it, and roll it out. Come on, one million. Oh my gosh! No. Holy crap! I'm oh, sorry, cursing. That is so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh! Do you see that? Well, it's like a Ziggy Arcade Machine thing with pop fuzz on it. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! All right, let me see if I can hold it up enough for them to see that. Oh wow, that is awesome. I'm gonna have to frame that. I'm gonna actually probably hang that up in the store. Come on, woman. He's trying to get one million. He's so close. Hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> that okay. one is awesome. What do you think? It's cool. Okay, okay. there's another right, one. Wait, wait, wait. There's a letter, I think. Let's read the letter first. Oh, okay. And then we'll do that poster. Mm -hmm. It says, I hope you and the cool kid enjoy my artwork. Uh, well, that was pretty cool, right? That first yeah. one? Yeah. Yeah. I had a blast on the, oh, I'm not going to tell you what that says, of the something design. Hope you and your family are doing well and keep up the great videos. I love the pop and comic videos. If I'm ever up in New York, I'm definitely stopping by. Definitely. That would be awesome. Special shout out to the cool kid. Yeah. All right. From Brandon, Kentucky Mud. Uh, and he has his address. Okay. Very cool. I'm going to link to his Instagram in the description below. Because this is cool. Okay. We're ready. This is the one that okay, I requested. This is the this is the one's one. for you, I think. I think that one was okay, for me. Okay, I'll hold this. You wait, wait, let me see if it's the... Oh my gosh. Uh, okay. You ready? Okay. It's a panda Darth Vader. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? <laughs> oh my gosh, look how cool that is. <laughs> wow, thank you, Brandon. What do you say? Thank you. Yeah, this is awesome. We're gonna have to hang that one up in the bedroom, right? Yeah. Oh man, I love that. <laughs> there are ears on like everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a panda ship. It's a panda stormtroopers. Oh my gosh, I don't. I, I'm speechless. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is the coolest thing I've gotten in a long time. Well, that. No, the other thing that was as cool was the Papa's arcade machine. <laughs> Wow, I love that. All right, thank you, Brandon. I appreciate it. Cool kid, what do you think of the poster? This poster is 100% awesome. We have a box from Target. I believe this is uh, 2021 ECC Comic Con stuff again. So we're going to look inside. I started opening it and my uh, camera died. So this is the second attempt. But let's see what we got. Uh, okay, looks like we have an exclusive Spidey. So I must have ordered this to get the free shipping. So we have the Cyborg Spider-Man. He's pretty neat. Okay, let's open up this box. Okay. This is, okay, this is, let's see, it's the Target exclusive Bumblebee. I forget if this one is just Bumblebee or if it's metallic. Or something special, or maybe just special because he's Bumblebee. Uh, I don't know if he's different than the common. I mean, I don't know how he's different. He's cool looking though. Oh yeah, the common, he's just kind of holding up a weapon or something here. He just has his fists out. Okay, very neat. Happy that that went to the collection. Okay, so this last pop here should be the Emerald City Comic Con. Wow, what a large box for three pops. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes like they, they arrive good, so I'm happy. I just feel like how can a company stay in business doing this? Because then what they do is they overcompensate and then ship stuff in bags instead of boxes. So either they like overdo it, and it probably costs way too much, so they're like we gotta save, and then they underdo it by throwing stuff in the bag, and then everything gets damaged. You gotta find a middle road here. But for now, I'm happy these arrived in good shape. 
Okay, get this open. Uh, oh, we have the popples. Okay, that one's fun. My sister had a bunch of popples, so this one is just a fun nostalgic pop to me. So I guess this wasn't any EC Comic Con ones, but I have a second Target box, so what probably happened is they split it into two boxes, which one order could have fit in one box. So again, it's kind of crazy to me. Okay, let's go on to the next box. So I thought this was the last box, but I just realized another box just came, was just delivered by UPS. So we'll open that after this one. So it looks like in the Target box, we have five individual boxes. I don't know if each one, I guess each one has a pop. All right, we'll see. Even these individual boxes are bigger than when I use to ship them. <laughs> this is crazy shipping. And look at me, I'm trying to order enough to get free shipping. So they add all this extra craziness and they don't even pay for it. Uh, okay, this is the Target Con Chandler, which I missed when it came out, but then they restocked it a few times. So he's cool. He's flocked. So I love that fuzzy look he has. That is really awesome. Okay, we'll open up this bigger box. Uh, oh, this is cool. I missed this one as well. So it's another Target Con one. Yeah, see what happened with Target Con is when they first dropped, I did the whole thing where I put everything in my cart and it kept selling out and I had to keep refreshing and going and starting the cart again. It was so frustrating and I ended up having nothing. So I'm happy I was able to grab a bunch of these at the restock. Okay, so we have the really cool Skeletor on Throne. Love this one. That one is fantastic. All right, very cool pop. Okay, so I must have filled in my Target Con stuff while ordering the ECC Comic Con stuff. I'm guessing. I don't know, it was months ago. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Uh, okay, this one actually just got traded in, so this is a duplicate for me. But he's really cool. So we have Lord Licorice from Candyland. Very neat pop. Okay, so far it's all Target Con stuff. I wonder if there is ECC Comic Con. <laughs> Maybe I just ordered a bunch of Target Con stuff. Uh, yeah, more Target Con. And this one I think was traded to me a couple months ago. So I do have that one as well. So I have another duplicate, but that one's cool. I love the Simpsons. They're always fun. Okay, one more. So maybe this was just a Target Con order. Uh, yeah, no, this is all Target Con. Okay, that's weird. I must have just, when they restocked, I ordered everything. So we have Colonel Mustard. That is really neat. Okay, let's go on to the Fun Days box. Okay, so we I got the Fun Days box, super thrilled. I didn't win the lottery spot, so I didn't think I was going to get it, but I noticed that they were restocking the overage, so I was able to snag a box just as it landed. I think it sold out in like five minutes, so I really lucked out on this one. The bots didn't beat me, so I'm happy. Very happy. Hate those bots. Okay. Let's get into this. This is exciting. I think what happens is this is the first box with the sh stuff that everyone gets. And then the second box they're going to send out is going to be the actual Freddy Funkos. Which I'm really excited to get something rare or awesome. Okay, so we got one pop here, which should be the main one. Yeah, the punk. Oh, that's cool. So he's in his own like cereal box. I, uh, ooh, I'm torn because I kind of want to keep it sealed but I also want to look at them. So what I might do is I'm just going to keep this one sealed for now. And I hope later on someone trades in the pop. I end up getting that one. I need to get the rest of them. Okay, that is very cool. And then uh, there's a little envelope of goodies. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to join in the event. That I'm not 100% sure. So I don't know if there's something in here I'm supposed to not show you guys. Okay, we have the punk pin. Uh, maybe a punk 
like bandana or something. No, it's an inflatable. Okay, that's funny. And then a bandana. Okay, those are really neat. Oh, this is fun. I look forward to getting the other boxes. I kind of want all of them. And, okay, and then this is the box. This should have the Brian Mariotti and the other guy. I forget his name. And I think... Oh, I'm not sure what else is in here. I kind of forget. Okay, so I guess everyone got this one, the Torchy. That is really neat. I like that one. I didn't realize every box had the Torchy. And then we have the Podium, which is kind of fun just on its own. And then finally we have the Double Pack. Brian Mariotti and uh, Mike Becker, I think. So that's kind of cool. I mean, it's kind of weird when you have just like CEOs as pops, but I still want them. I still think they're kind of neat. That was a fun little box. I look forward to getting the Freddy Funkos from it. All right, the cool kid loves this poster. What do you think about it? It's amazing. He's been hugging it for the last like three minutes, right? Yeah. <laughs> he loves it. All right, I wanna thank my patrons for supporting the channel. With their help, I'm able to do more videos like this more often. I'm gonna put a couple other mega epic Funko Pop hauls right there. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.